I came to know Sachin first when he was only 15 because he was drafted into the Ranji Trophy team and uh, being a youngster I think he was very very shy uh, he used to be very quiet and sit at one corner of the dressing room but the amount of runs uh, you know he had scored in junior cricket like under 19 it was you know tremendous that's the reason why he was drafted into the you know, Mumbai Ranji team because he had two double hundreds 170 so huge huge runs so the selectors could not ignore him and uh, into the Ranji Trophy team he made his debut and he got a hundred and after scoring a hundred I think he has never looked back and uh, I think the stat speaks for himself uh, and uh, he has got volumes of runs which no other cricketer would have uh, come even closer to him. We played an uh, Iranian Trophy game, rest of India versus uh, Delhi and I was the captain again for the rest of India team and luckily again he got a hundred in that game. So after that game uh, he got selected for the Indian team to tour Pakistan and I think uh, once he made his debut in Pakistan after that he has uh, never looked back. I always call him that Ramesh Milestone Tendulkar because whatever he does is a milestone because uh, he has reached so many milestones that I don't think any other cricketer would reach there. His international career has really really gone so far that I don't think any other test cricketer would come close to him. Uh, but uh, the main thing which I would like to say that after achieving so much, he is still a gentleman, a thorough gentleman. After achieving so much, a lot of cricketers, their feet uh, is above the ground. But Sachin's feet are still grounded and he is so humble, caring for junior cricketers. He will talk to them and he will give advice, he will respect the senior cricketers. So I think above all, being a cricketer is one part, but being a thorough human being, that is another. And that's what Sachin Tendulkar stands out. There were, well, I think, several innings which uh, Sachin has played, but I think the two innings which stand out most uh, were in Sharjah because uh, against Australia, we were not, uh, uh, at once we were not qualifying and then Sachin played such a brilliant inning uh, uh, to qualify, that was 150 odd plus. I think uh, I haven't seen a batsman uh, massacre the Australian bowling so badly. And after that, we qualified it and then, the, then came the final. And even in the final, I think the Australians were too much, you know, as we all know that they were very snobby and they thought, oh, we'll just uh, roll the Indians out. But one man stood, uh, you know, apart and that was Sachin Tendulkar. He made sure that India won and he had a brilliant 150 plus knock where I think Shane Vaughan still gets those nightmares of Sachin Tendulkar uh, hitting him all over the park. Because that inning, I think those two innings really, really stand out for me because we were not in the race. We first qualified because of his brilliant 100, and then we won because of his brilliant, brilliant 100. Uh, we were in Australia when we went uh, on 2008 series and I was the coach of the team. And uh, we had this uh, monkey gate ep episode there. Uh, so all the team were really, really down and we were all you know, thinking Ki, we should come back. There was one school of thought because uh, uh, everything was going against us, you know, the media, the press, the umpiring, you know. Uh, but Sachin as a person he said you know we got to you know stay on we got to sort things out here only and let's play the game and we show that we are a superior team and you won't believe after that test match we went to Perth and in Perth we won the test match and uh, I think the Indian team never had won a test match in Perth that was the first time we won in Perth and after that the triangular series the thing which I would like to emphasize that you know he never let it go. He said, no, we got to fight it out here. We got to sort it out here. And if you win the series, that's a setback for them. And that was the thing which he made it sure that, you know, we have to win the, the CB series. We won the CBs and it was really a very good, uh, you know, thing for Indian cricket that we have won the CB series for the first time. We won the test uh, match uh, at Perth for the first time. So it was a very good reply from our, you know, as a team. It's been wonderful years of watching Sachin. He has given so much joy to us, to not only to our cricketers, fellow cricketers, but to millions of fans. Because whenever he bats, I think it's a, you know, a treat to watch. Uh, he has won so many games for us uh, from nowhere because in a situation where we thought that we would never win, but Sachin has made uh, that happen. Uh, the only thing is that we will never see him again on the cricket field but definitely his memories will always be remembered. Uh, Sachin all the very best for you because I know you will have a lot of time to spend with your family and give it back to the game. We wish him all the best for his future endeavour.